Hello. Uh, this is going to be a quick explanation of how your body responds to stress. So, it's part of the Clef Away 2, which is the second paper that you'll do. Um, and the paper is, uh, the part, this part of the paper is stress um, and biological psychology. Okay, so, if you're asked a question on this, um, it, the question will read, outline the body's responses to stress. So that will be the specific question. They'll never ask you, outline the HPL, the SAM. This will be what it is. Okay, so what is it? Now, it's a bit biological, so I'll go quite slowly, and I'll refer to the kind of the key terms, and you'll probably have to watch this a few times as well. So what happens? Okay, so firstly, there is a stressor. So a bear is actually the word, and that triggers the hypothalamus in your brain. And now, the hypothalamus is the thing which decides well, whether it's a stressor or not. Um, so, the hypothalamus triggers two responses. Uh, the the S SAM and the HPA. Okay, so the SAM is kind of uh, a more quicker working um, reaction, and the HPA is more of a slower working reaction. We'll get to that in a minute. Right, so, a bear attack in the wood. Your hypothalamus is triggered. Firstly, you're going to need to prepare yourself. So either run away or to fight it. So how does that happen? Well, that happens because of the sound, okay? Now, the sound is called uh, the sympathomedullary the pathway, um, or the sound. Now, before I explain that, I'm going to have to explain a few of the key terms for you, so you understand it. So, now, you need to know what the ANS is. Now, the ANS is your autonomic nervous system, and you have two nervous systems. You have your central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord, and that's voluntary. So like if you move your hands or legs, then you are voluntary doing that, yeah? So you, you are choosing to do that. Now your ANS is your nervous system which is involuntary. So you don't actually know that subconsciously that you're doing it. So as you're sat here now, you're breathing, your bladder, all of that's going on, but you don't even realise it. Realise it, and that's your autonomic nervous system. Now, and that is split into two. Uh, we have the parasympathetic branch and the sympathetic branch. And as you are sat now, hopefully you're nice and relaxed at home, so you're on your parasympathetic branch, you're calm. Now if a bear was to come and attack you, um, what would happen is you would flip to your sympathetic branch. Yeah? So your parasympathetic is when you're calm, your sympathetic branch is when you're stressed. So, that's the, that you need to know that for the sound. So, a bear attack in the woods, the hypothalamus triggers your sound. So you flip from your parasympathetic to your sympathetic branch of your ANS. And that in turn activates your adrenal medulla. Now that is like a tiny bit at the top of your kidneys. And the adrenal medulla then produces adrenaline and noradrenaline. And as you know, adrenaline, you know, the adrenaline release, you feel butterflies and your hands shake and you start sweating. And that is because adrenaline is released to, to prepare you for fight or flight. Now noradrenaline helps you to focus. So again, a bear attack in the woods, you need to be able to have the focus to be able to get away from it to fight it. So that's your adrenaline and your noradrenaline. And that's quite quick working. And just say, then the bear goes away and we're fine. The reason why after a few minutes you may feel stop feel calm again is because what happens is your body reacts by flipping back to your parasympathetic branch. And then you feel normal, you feel calm. So that's a kind of a short-acting one. Now, the slightly longer one, they both react at the start at the same time, but this is more to prepare you for kind of longer stresses than a bear attacking you in a wood. Uh, more kind of like long-term exam stress and things. So, this is the HPA. Now, this is a mouthful. The HPA stands for the Hypothalamic Pituitary Adrenal Axis, the HPA. And what happens again? The stressor, the bear, the hypothalamus is activated, and then, this activates the pituitary gland, which is like a tiny bit of your brain, and that produces ACTK, which is a hormone. You don't need to know what that stands for. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a mouthful. So then the ACTH um, activates your adrenal cortex. Now, your adrenal cortex, as you can probably guess, is in the same part. Um, it's at the top of your kidneys, in your adrenal glands, um, and your adrenal cortex produces corticosteroids and cortisol, so the same kind of thing. And that has the um, influence of fat and proteins are turned into glucose. And the reason why you need glucose is you need energy. So you need the energy to be able to deal with the long-term stress, such as I've got a month of exams ahead of me. Now, unfortunately, at the same time, the cortisol suppress your immune system, um, which is the next thing that you'll do in the topic. Uh, and as you know, the immune system, if your immune system is suppressed and weakened, you're more likely to get ill, which is why often people who are highly stressed have lots of colds and you know go down with illness quite a lot. 
So to summarise, how your body responds to stress in two ways, the SEM and the HPA. Now a really quick way of remembering it, um, when you're arriving and you're panicking in the exam, is if you look, the SAM, S-A-M, so the S, that's the S of the so you think, ah, S in the letter of branch, the A, the adrenal, and the M, the medulla. So it, it tells you which, which order it goes in. And the HPA, the H of the hypothalamus, the P of the pituitary glands, and the A, the adrenal cortex or the ACTH, whichever you think you need to remember the most. So it tells you HPA. Okay, so that is how your body responds to stress. Um, and I've watched it a few more times just to make sure you get used to all the key terms.